Welcome back everybody to another Just In Time video and I have a special guest for this Just In Time video. Thank you Sir Ty Jensen for being on my channel to discuss the PlayStation 2. I love the PlayStation 2. Unfortunately, I don't have a PlayStation 2 anymore. I do have the trusty PlayStation 1 here, but we're going to discuss the PlayStation 2. Before I discuss my thoughts and certain memories regarding the PlayStation 2, my special guest and good buddy Sir Ty Jensen is going to talk a little bit about his thoughts and some things that he loves about the PlayStation 2. So special guest Sir Ty Jensen, take it away. Thank you, Justin, for allowing me to guest star again. I guest starred on your Gremlins review two years ago. You were doing anniversary reviews. I guess you remember that. I'd like to quickly talk about the first two PlayStation consoles. It won't take one. I got a PlayStation back in 2000. I was 11. I felt like having one because my brother had one. I also had a Nintendo 64. I lived in two houses. My dad remarried. I got two step-siblings, Gavin and Dara. They're both younger than me. Gavin owned Ridge Racer. It was good, I suppose. As far as I know, it was the first PlayStation game I ever played. He picked up Crash Bandicoot Warped. It was our mutual first Crash game. We became huge Crash fans. We gradually purchased every PS1 Crash game. I own a few Crash games. I have a weird, funny memory with Crash Bash. We were fighting on a rooftop. We were kicking the shit out of each other. After a TNT crate blows up, it leaves a hole in the roof. One of us blew up the other. Oddly enough, Cortex jumped into the hole, killed himself. My friend somehow thought Cortex was Cortez. I don't know if he was thinking about the Spy Kids movies or the Time Splitters games. Not that I played them. Mega Man X5 was my first Mega Man game, and yes, it was the first PlayStation game I owned. It's a good game. It plays Extra Zero. You have to save the world by building a space shuttle um, to destroy a Hurling Space Colony. It has some replay value because uh, you can de determine where the story goes. It, it goes in a few directions. It has two different endings. I never owned Mega Man X6, but I rented it a couple times. It's a good game, but really hard. I remember it has, it has Japanese voice actors. You only play as X. You search for Zero and you have to destroy a few robots infected by the Nightmare Virus. I have something to say about my first memory card. I did something stupid. After grabbing Crash Bandicoot 2, I tried saving my progress, but it somehow couldn't happen. The message was essentially, data cannot be saved. I tried it a few times, it still wouldn't work. I threw out the card, I thought it was broken or something. I really should have known that it was full. So yeah, I threw out the card, I got another one, and of course, the truth hit me. Has anyone played the Star Wars Phantom Menace PlayStation game? It was fun, I suppose. The graphics sucked. I rented it once, I got stuck on level 2. Uh, I couldn't destroy a huge gate. I remember the game had the Duo of Fates music video. That sounds awesome. The Unusual Suspect reviewed that game. I seen a twice hilarious review. I got my PS2 in 2007. I was 18. A few people, druggies I suppose, broke into our house when no one was home and sold a few things, like my GameCube and my dad's truck. The truck was found a few days later on a cliff. It was fine. The gear chip was mangled or something. Dad eventually got rid of the truck. Anyway, yeah, I thought about grabbing another GameCube. I wanted to grab a PS2 instead because, well, you know, we all want changes. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith was my first PS2 game. It's not the same copy. It's good. It's fun. I completed it. I feel Anakin's voice was lame. I eventually grabbed Battlefront 2 and never played the first one. I overplayed Battlefront 2. I played it too much, specifically the multiplayer. Well, that's what I usually played. You remember the movie character level? That was a lot of fun. I remember it has one lame song that wasn't in any of the movies. Yes, I played the new Battlefront game. Yeah, I don't know if it's good. It's not bad. It was fun. I went on plenty of camping trips throughout my life. There were a few trips where I brought my PS2 along because the campgrounds had power. The PS2 can play its movies, which is nice. Gavin and I have seen the Dyard movies. I don't know if you've seen Dyard 5. I haven't seen them since 2010. Dyard 5 sucked. I've seen it only once. I'm skeptical about Dyard Year 1. I'm sure everyone feels that way. I guess it's a prequel, so it can be a soft reboot. Are you a Simpsons fan? I've been a fan since I was 13 years old. Hit and Run is an awesome game. I played it too much when I was younger. I mean the GameCube version. It's a Grand Theft Auto clone. I remember level 7 was Halloween themed. That's weird. I also have this Simpsons game. It's good. It's very different. It's not a Grand Theft Auto clone. It's a platformer. It has show shaded graphics. Are you a Metal Gear fan? Metal Gear Solid is a classic. The GameCube version was my first exposure to the franchise. I was 14. Yes, I have a few other Metal Gear games. Metal Gear should be made into a movie. Why not? Hollywood is trying to make video game movies in the next big thing. 
All right, I'm finally done yapping. This took me a while to shoot because I rushed myself again. It's an ongoing problem. Plus, I, I can't help but stutter sometimes. It was a huge problem when I was younger. Again, Justin, thanks for having me. I'd love to collaborate with you on your Simpsons review. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for being on my channel and discussing the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 2, I remember the exact date I got this, and it was Christmas. I uh, don't remember what year, so I actually don't remember the exact date. But I remember getting it on Christmas, and I got a few games with it, like a Scooby-Doo game, um, a Ratchet and Clank game, that's the other one. Ratchet and Clank was the game. Um, I'll, t I'll talk a little bit more about the games later, but uh, the PlayStation 2, I was hyped out of my mind to get. I loved playing the PlayStation 1 so much, and the starting up music was just amazing and so nostalgic now. And they had a PlayStation 2 which was much bigger and you could play DVDs and it was so cool. I remember that night also getting the movie Gold Member on DVD for Christmas and watching that right away. It was so cool having my own DVD player and game system in my bedroom. Some of the games I remember vividly playing, like this is probably my one of my favorite consoles ever, vividly playing so much of Ratchet and Clank, Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, San Andreas. I had a lot of baseball games for the PlayStation 2 as well. Playing Jack and Daxter as well. More Crash Bandicoot. The Star Wars Episode 3 game, uh, Battlefront. Jeez, now that I'm thinking about it, PlayStation 2 had some really good games. I mean, PlayStation 1 had a lot of great games that I used to play, like Tomb Raider and the Harry Potter games, Crash Bandicoot as well. But just PlayStation 2, I was a little bit older, so I could play a little more mature games, like Grand Theft Auto and BMX Triple X. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, BMX Triple X. If you haven't played that game, go play it. My favorite games would definitely be Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. I would constantly play those games. And my mom would allow me to play the game because even though I was like in 7th grade, 6th, 7th grade, I was mature for my age. And my brother, not so much. And so when I played it, I had to play it in secrecy or when my brother was asleep or when I knew he wouldn't be in my room, I could play those games so he wouldn't be influenced by it. As I got older and more systems came out, like the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, I didn't get those until years down the road, and I still had a PlayStation 2, and I would have Guitar Hero 2, which is the best Guitar Hero game ever made, and they had so many great songs, like Sweet Child of Mine. I would play that game constantly. Now, what I'm gonna do with my life is go find a PlayStation 2 and find a bunch of games. That's my goal for the summer. Hashtag goals. It needs to be a nostalgic summer. So the PlayStation 2, I loved it. It is probably my second favorite console behind the Nintendo 64. It had so many great games. I had so many fun memories with those games. I used to play those games so many times at night. Uh, the friends from the, my friends from the neighborhoods would come over and we'd play that game as well. We would trade games. I remember trading um, BMX XXX. Uh, I got rid of that game for Grand Theft Auto 3, and then I re turned around and rebought BMX Triple X. I've had that game so many different times for diff so many different consoles. I had the fat PlayStation 2, and I know they had the slim one later on, but I never got that one. I had the fat one with the fat memory cards and the fat controllers. It was just fat. And they had the little slim one, and by that time I was just so invested I didn't want to get rid of it. My baby. So, I love the PlayStation 2, as you can tell. I am kind of just talking crazily right now about the PlayStation 2. What did you guys think of the PlayStation 2? It was a perfect console. Um, the upstart music wasn't as memorable as the PlayStation. The PlayStation, Sony did had great consoles. PlayStation 3, I love. I still play it now. I still have one. And I, maybe down the road, we get a PlayStation 4. I don't know. So, Thank you, Sir Ty Jensen, for being on my channel to discuss the PlayStation 2. Seems like you had a lot of fond memories with it, and I had a lot of fond memories with it as well. Just one of these times that we can just sit down and discuss fun things from our past. So, this is Just Watch Movies. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Just Watch Movies for our current reviews. And you stay classy, YouTube.